YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power Nine Quest. Today, I have a little different video for you. I'm going to take you through uh, one of my magic binders and just show you one of my collections. Um, this is, uh, it's funny because on the, the side it says MTG Modern Collection. And what I mean by that is it's just not my old stuff. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you all these fun cards that I have in this binder. And at the end, I'm gonna open up three random booster packs that I had lying around. If I did not tell you my name's Andy, my name's Andy. Let's uh, do some card looking fun. Different type of video today. Okay, so yeah, this is, uh, I, if I've done this before, forgive me, um, but uh, you know, I've, I definitely have added, if I have done this, I've added more things to it. This is backwards, great, okay. Um, and you know what, I'll say different things. So, um, ooh, look at this. Oh, uh, well, the glare is not fun, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, when these came out, when Kaladesh and Amonkhet were happening, I was so hyped on the idea. Um, and the story with these is that this is the first one I pulled. I believe I pulled it from like just a loose pack that I got from like Target or something. But then I started buying boxes and then the last one I pulled was uh, the Mana Vault, which is easily the one I was most psyched about. Um, that's Kaladesh. Um, but yeah, I, I opened up a handful of the Amonkhet masterpieces too, which I'm not, I like, the Kaladesh are beautiful. I like those a lot better. Um, and then, uh, and then one of, what, an Hour of Devastation? Um, I think that's from that, right? I can't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's that icon right there. And then, uh, I did pull, I, I talked about this in a recent video, I did pull a Brothers War serialized card, um, and the rest, uh, the rest are just, everything you're gonna see in this is just things that I saw and I was like, this is cool, um, I, I wanna keep this. Uh, usually it's the big hitter cards of sets, or something like this, where it's just beautiful, and I never got the, uh, the, the, the fourth card. Who, who was that? Who the heck was that? It was the Planeswalker? I don't know. Um, but the Bad Moons, uh, I, like I've, I've been wanting to pull the Bad Moon from the dark, so when they reprinted it, uh, I definitely kept those. Scroll Rack is iconic. Mana Crypt's iconic. Um, all these Double Masters and stuff. Um, those were really fun to pull. And then a lot of the stuff though, like, like this, like some of this stuff, like Lightning Bolt, that's not worth anything, but that guy totally is. I don't know how much they're worth nowadays. A lot of times I'll just think it's cool and I'll put it in here and it, it's like, it's just gonna sit here. Like I'm just gonna sit here and look at it every once in a while, but it, that's what collecting is, right? Um, Vampiric Tutor, I love that artwork. Um, Commanders, Commander Legends or whatever. Uh, Mana Drain, is that the foil? No, I never pulled the I never pulled the foil extended art. I did pull the, uh, the Phyrexian Vornaclex. Demonic Tutor is a kind of card, so I uh, kept those. And is this a counter spell? I'm pretty sure this is a counter spell. Dark Ritual, that's rad. Um, I did, I do have a whole set of the Mystical Archives, and um, and it's sitting around somewhere. It's again, and it's not worth anything, and I'll never do anything with it, but I have it. Um, ooh, there's another, oh gosh, the Japanese Dark Ritual. That is amazing. Um, but then right, really random cards, like there's a Silver Legion from uh, Time Spiral, uh, Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. Fabled Passage, Passage was always one of my favorite cards from Eldraine. And uh, when I when I pulled it, when I got that version of it, I was like, eh, throw that in the thing. Garth One-Eye is literally only here because he's, he has all these rad cards. He re references, he like, uh, or whatever, what he could do. Choose a card that hasn't been chosen. Create a copy of any of those. And I was like, you know what? You deserve to be in the binder. Uh, Ursa Saga card. Just because it's called Ursa Saga, I was like, I'm keeping one of that. And then that was such a throwback when he came back because he's from Legends, right? And uh, I was super hyped to see him come back. Um, and then just like, you know, iconic lands, like look at all these, look look at all, you know, you know these. I don't need to, I don't need to go into detail about them. Um, guys, also pause as I go through this because I'll, I'll be through it. I won't talk your ear off too much. Um, I am launching a Patreon. It's live right now. I, I will eventually do tiers, but right now I just have a blanket, like support the channel. If you want to jump in and support, um, I just set it up. So, uh, I, I believe it'll be right in the info. Um, don't feel obligated. It's just, this channel costs a lot of money. Um, I like, for instance, I just spent 250 bucks on next week's magic videos. Uh, video. It's a, it's two boosters of um, Stronghold, and I'll open up some like random, m like more current boosters. But um, like that, I'm gonna make like eight dollars on that video probably, and I'm, I'm always working at a, a vast negative on this channel. So uh, if you wanted to support this going, I've been going for a month now, really, really staying on schedule, and I think I'm gonna continue it. So 
If you do, thank you. If not, I get it. I'm gonna keep making videos one way or another. Uh, just the support will make it easier to make good videos and keep the momentum. Um, and frankly, just pay for packs. Uh, um, but I do have a thing where I'm gonna be giving away, like to upper tiers, I'll be giving away cards and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Uh, more of this iconic card, Urza himself, prismatic Windows Vista. Another Dickon. Uh, I, I forgot that I actually set one aside of him, and I know he got reprinted, but he's still like the the bee's knees, right? That guy's killer. Um, anytime they re they they print like cool variations of the like iconic classic cards, I just I just I'm a sucker for putting them in there. Like like Mistress Factory, that's beautiful. Uh, Never Girl's disc. Um, I I don't know why this guy's in here. Honestly, I guess it's cool. Uh, I did really like the Dracula cards, so there's probably a handful of those in there. And then Ren and Seven, just because he was like a follow up to uh, Renin 6. I was like, oh man, good you. Um, or like a card like this, that's just the most beautiful artwork of all time. Um, you know, let's see if the glare is better. Yeah, it's a little better. Sorry about the glare guys, but there's like the nature of binders. That's, you know, I, I'll try to figure a better way of doing it. Uh, again, Fabled Passages. Like, I love that card. I love Throne of Eldraine in general. Uh, there he is, there's Renin 6. Um, at Sushi, and then, the, you know, the big guys when, uh, Neon Dynasty came out. Um, I did, ooh, let's look at this. I did pull this. Is this like a crazy, this was really expensive at one point. Um, this is a beautiful card, my gosh. And I like, I remember Googling it and I was like, it's worth that much? Uh, and by Googling, I mean, I looked it up on TCG player or whatever. Um, uh, but that's really cool. They, I do like that. Like, well, like more of like, just like, that's what the type of variants they need to go for. Not like five variants, just do like one variant that's hard to get. And if you get it, awesome. If not, you always have the other plays, the cards to play with. Um, um, this is just, dude, when I saw this, cause the story of the, the dog in Japan that would like continue to go to the train stop with his, uh, to see his master, even when his master had passed, it was like, oh, so uh, that's, you know, I believe this is like in talk kind of in homage to that story, right? So either way, that's what it reminds me of. And I was like, ah, I'm doing that. Um, this is my my buddy's um, company, uh, or, or was his company? Uh, he he might have sold it, but he made really cool stickers. And I was like, I want to put those in my binder. Um, the Nut Collector, this is like from the list. And I was so excited that I pulled a list card that was actually worth a few bucks. And I was like, hey, I'm keeping that. Um, I like this artwork a lot. This is like, reminds me of like 80s sci-fi. Uh, and I just, you know, like there's no, there's no rhyme or reason. These are just cards that I like. Often they are, you know, pricier cards and stuff. Um, I forgot they did all these Renin 6 variants in whatever master set that is. Um, some mana drains. Um, but you know, stuff that probably makes sense. Ooh, I've seen this. I need to look through this more often. I forgot that I pulled some fancy extended art. Uh, Dinosaur Shepherd, dude. Some mana vaults. Cavern of Souls, Liliana, uh, City of Brasses, just because again, it was an iconic card. We got Force of Negation, fancy style. Um, this, and again, this is probably worth nothing, but like this art, I loved that. And um, like, these are just uncommons, but they're in there because I just really like the art. Um, and then of course the Shieldreds, which man, these were, these were so popular for a long time. Is he still, is he still worth money and selling? Um, so Liliana's, Joe to the, you know, I wonder why I have him in here because I don't, I, I mean, it does look cool, I guess. I don't know. Um, Ball Lightning, this is funny. This cat, this card came out last year, but it has a, it had a 2023 date. Um, but I kept it because of the card. I mean, the card, Ball Lightning is a, such a throwback and, um, where it says 1994 and the artwork's rad. Really, really cool. Um, Soul Ring, love it. Jack Lantern. Uh, and some of these, I guess, I don't know why. I think I just kept some of these, these like judge promo looking things. I don't know what they are, whatever, these. Um, and then they had the anime variants. Uh, that was very, very cool. Ursus Funhouse, that's fun. Um, Howling Mine, Millstone. Gosh, those just take me back to when I was playing in like fourth edition, when I started and stuff. Uh, Ugin, Spirit Dragon. Um, again, Wall of Roots has the, the year and I was like, sure. And then really cool that they brought that back. That counterspell graphic, artwork, sorry. I'm a skateboarder, I always say I always say uh, graphic instead of artwork. Uh, Birds of Paradise throwback, that's beautiful. That's like, look at this. I mean like, look at the artwork difference. Like, 
Does anyone, like, do new players like this stuff better? Because this is just, ah. Oh, I'm looking at it with just eyes that could never see the, could see this as, like, not the artwork for Birds of Paradise. So I know I can't really wrap my brain around that, but uh, Sylvan Library, super iconic. Although I do like, I like the frame. This stuff, some of the borderless and stuff, I do like, but nine times out of 10, like I love just having a border and I love it non-foil. Uh, like this Royal Assassin, like this, I'm pretty sure it's just a, just a Royal Assassin, new artwork, totally okay. And um, it's actually pretty cool looking, but I, it, I, this is the look of magic cards to me. Maze of Ith, this is an extended art that I'm like, okay, that does look pretty rad. Um, but like something like this, where it's just like, I don't know, I'm more here. I'm more, I'm more, more on this one, but I love both these cards. Icy, we've got a Helm of Awakening, iconic card. Uh, Jester's Cap. I thought I thought Jester's Cap was the bee's knees when it came out. I thought, and then the funny, the, like when, as you know, years later to see that the mask is more sought after now. I was like, wait, what? Uh, but in my head, there's those those cards you see as a kid where you always will think they're the best. And Jester's Cap, it just kind of does that for it. Uh, really pretty Wrath of God. I don't know why this. So we get some. Um, I have. I really only go into the. Uh, the, what are these called? Secret, secret time? What are these called? The, whatever. See, this is what I'm talking about. When, you, when you're filming a YouTube video and you have to say things, I can't edit this. I can't, like, there's just, you blank out on things that you know all the time, but whatever. When they did uh, The Walking Dead, I was, um, I was super hyped. I think that this is like the first, like, outside third party that was like really big in, in the magic world. Am I correct? Am I crazy? Um, okay, some more. These just look beautiful. These, like, metal-looking cards. Um, and then the Bob Ross. Oh, boy. The Bob Ross was really cool. Um, and they're beautiful. Like, this just reminds me of, like, something from, like, Mirage era. Um, so these little foily cards in Streets of Copa... Uh, Coboggan, whatever. Uh, really pretty. Let's pull one of these out, because... Like, these just... When I saw these, I was like, these are probably the most, like beautiful looking magic cards that I've ever seen. Look at that, that shine. Oh. Oh my gosh, so I love those. I wonder how deep this goes. We might be getting close to done. Um, and then it just, there's there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Like, it's just like, sure, start putting in more lands. Like, Chisel Pete, if I ever need stuff for a deck. Um, and then Triomes. Uh, you know what, I, when I was going through uh, Ikoria, I sold so many Triomes. And I didn't stop. I think I do have a play set of each somewhere. Um, but I think there was one day I was like, man, I should actually start like putting these in my binder. And so that was my start. Um, here's the Dracula cards. Beautiful. Uh, Count Dracula, Van Helsing. Uh, is there a Renfield in here? Um, these are just beautiful. And there's, they're all, I think I try to have two sides if they're double-sided. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I only have one guy. Lord of Dracula, Lord of Bats, Lord of Blood. That's rad. So there's another Lord of Blood, but this one's foil. And I don't, you know what? No one cared for this set. So are these, these are probably worthless, but I like them. Yeah, there's a Renfield. Um, when, I, when this card came out, I had no idea there was going to be a Renfield movie, but uh, we always played One Night Werewolf. So I was like, oh, cool, Renfield. Uh, Castle Dracula. That's pretty rad. Um, and then, of course, I'm a huge Stranger Things fan uh, from the get-go. I mean, I know everyone was from the get-go, but I, I like right when it came out, I watched it immediately, and I like I, within within like 36 hours, 48 hours, I was like, I'm watching this whole series. Uh, and I, so when they did the cards, I was like, Oh, I'm buying this. Very, very cool. Um, more. So uh, yeah, I did th th this um, again. What the heck are these called? That's gonna, I look like the biggest idiot, and you know what, I'm fine. If I, if I ever look like an idiot on this channel, I, I publish it, like, I'm just down to look like an idiot, but uh, that's gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna freaking turn the camera off, be like, you stupid person. How do you not remember a basic term like that? Um, I do, also, I do not actually purchase them that often, so I guess that's my defense. Um, Transformers, which uh, in the 80s, I was into Dino Riders and um, Ghostbusters, uh, but I did like Transformers. I just didn't watch it a lot. Uh, but I love the toys like and, and stuff. But So when they did the magic set, I was like, yeah, we should open up this. This is kind of fun. I didn't complete the set. That's why it's all blank. Um, and I, I didn't pull any of the like the the, frac the fractured graphics, like foiled. I didn't get any of those. Uh, but I got a good chunk. I mean, there's only so many. And that's it. Look at that. We're done. All right, now we get to open up the packs. Um, but these are just draft boosters, so there's nothing, like we can't, 
Uh, this is the, the werewolf set, so it's, we can't even pull a Dracula. Uh, but I don't know how exciting these are, and I don't actually know any of the cards that are that, like, hot. So forgive me if I, you know, pull a Black Lotus and go buy it. Uh, Arrogant Outlaw, Return to Nature, Gavity Trapper, Voldaren Stinger, Shadow Beast Sighting, Bait Hook Angler, Arcane Infusion, Play with Fire, uh, ooh, we did get a foil. Kessig Naturalist. Oh, he's holding a baby wolf. Is he a, this is a double-sided situation? He turns into one. Wow, that's actually, see, this is a, these were beautiful sets. The werewolf and the vampire one. Uh, Curse of Silence. It's kind of creepy looking. Um, Plains. And, oh, our foil is a Gavany Silversmith. I, I'm sure everyone's sick of pulling Galvany Silversmiths out there. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get, you know what? I, I'm more excited for that. So we'll do Unfinity, which I did not open up that much at all. I guess there was one card in there, the Ursa's Funhouse. Uh, bird gets the worm. Uh, the, the blank bird gets the worm. Xeno Squirrels. Boing. That wins for best magic card name in a while. Clowning Around. Plot Armor. Non-Human Cannonball. Uh, th this, I was excited for a new unset to come out, but this set I was like, I feel like they went, they went like really far in this, this vibe and all I wanted was another like un, uh, unglued vibe where it's just ridiculous stuff but I get it they've done that they gotta like do sets that gets people psyched and buying stuff draconian gatebot balls of fire uh that's quite cool artwork blank balls of fire attempted murder oh see it's a crow a murder of crows get it knight in blank armor Oh, we got a mythic. So I don't know if this is worth anything, but we did get a mythic. Myra, the magnificent. Um, yeah, these lands were gosh bonkers. I think they sold for a long time, right? For like a decent amount. Cause I mean, like, why not? Why wouldn't you want to play? It's a handful of these to play in a deck. Costume shop, bounce chamber, and that's it. But hey, Myra, the magnificent. Hopefully that's worth a few bucks. Um, but I'll tell you what I will do with that in just a second. No matter, even if it is worth 20 bucks. Feisty Stegosaurus. Uh, hazmat suit, uh, Paniac, Willing Test Subject, Mother's Kangaroo. This was a fun one. Uh, I, I like the this where you can like make different animals and stuff. Riveting Rigor, Target Minotaur, Contraption Cannon, First Pick, uh, Half Shark, Half What? Here, what, where is it? Where's the... Yeah. Half Shark, Half Kangaroo. Look at that. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. A Steam Flogger Boss, Foil, Ooh, a serpent. Ah, oh, see, it sucks we can't add the shark and the monster, but I guess you could do the serpentine kangaroo. All right. Um, beautiful, beautiful land. Uh, a sundering fork and a top secret tunnel. Okay. All right. There it was. Uh, like, like I said, this is not the normal video that I'm going to publish, but if you hung out and enjoyed this, I appreciate you. Anyone who does jump on uh, the Patreon and, and start supporting the channel from the get-go of the Patreon, I appreciate you, but anyone that's been watching, commenting, uh, subscribing, all of the internet type stuff, I completely appreciate you, and I will be back um, on Friday with a new video and another one on Sunday, and I think I'm about to up it to four a week, so let me know what you think, let me know what TCGs you want to see me open, or play, or anything. I appreciate you, later, goodbye. Secret freaking layer. how did I forget, I, knew, I got the secret word right, but oh my gosh, see, Ugh, I'm a dummy. Guys, thanks for hanging out. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And just have a great day. Go do something that you want to do, okay? Too often we don't do that. Today you're doing that, I think. And if you're about to head to work, I'm very sorry I said this at this time.